Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. If you like the Mike Widener Show and you want to make your own podcast, well, let me tell you about Anchor. First of all, it's free. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. You can also add any song from Spotify directly to your episodes. The possibilities are endless. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. You can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get start the mike wagner show is powered by sonic web studios hi this is me i'm Austin Zia, also known as me no time for love check out my latest book missing available in print and ebook format on amazon it's now time for the mike wagner show powered by sonic web studios and sponsored by international award-winning author mia mosin zia of missing the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on over 40 podcast platforms, as well as HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, and the TheMikeWagnerShow.com. We can be heard in over 100 countries, featuring over 1,000 well-known and amazing guests throughout the globe, and named one of the top 100 global podcasts in the New York Weekly Times, Hollywood Entertainment News, Los Angeles Weekly Times, Apple, and Chartable. So sit back and relax and enjoy another great episode of the award-winning Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. And brought to you by our special sponsor, the Mike Wagner Show, International Warring Author, Mia Molson Zia Missing, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. He's back by popular demand. He had to get off the train and he's going in a different direction. Singer songwriter from Florida, and he was the founder of 3A Ghost Train, kind of uh taking a little break at the station and uh the group and himself have 50 million streams and nominated for 20 awards, five wins, inspired by John 308 and carries a very powerful message. And he's going to carry a powerful message as well, too, as he's moving on and featuring some dreams as well, too. And he's gone officially solo. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios, somewhere in the train station, just resting. And he's moving <laughs> on with his new project. Ladies and gentlemen, the former 308 Ghost Train. Anthony Caruso. Anthony, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us once again. Long time no here. Hey, nice to be here again, Mike. I'll tell you, I I, I kind of miss being on your show. I'm usually on at least once a year. I think I might have <laughs> missed last year for some reason, but it's nice to be back, you know, with all the all the changes. And, you know, we made it through COVID and we made it through some really rough times. And, you know, we're friends on Facebook. So ever since we've been going together, I've kind of follow you, you follow me. And I'll tell you, it's been a, uh, it's been a run for both of us, hasn't it? It really has. It certainly has too. It's just like, I mean, you had what, uh, 50 million streams, 20 awards, five wins. And here yeah. I am. And I think I've had about maybe like eight, 10 or something, maybe like top 40, top 50 or something like that. I haven't had that many just like you have. So I consider you the champion right there. Well, <laughs> well I, I, you know, I, I consider any of us that have won anything in these in this in this craziness uh, a, a winner because, you know, I don't know if anybody realizes this. You know, there's a lot of people out there trying to do what we're doing on both ends of this. There are people out there. I mean, there are millions of songwriters, you know, and some of them never get recognized for anything. There's millions of DJs and podcasters, and some of them just fall into the fabric and no one really knows who they are. And But they try to find a way to make their little hold in life. So I think that anything that you've done is definitely a win, my friend. Mm-hmm. And certainly you as well, too, that uh, we went back to the days of... Um with uh, Simple Man and also with uh, Born in the Wild and Something's Going On, Next Stop, No Breaks. And, of course, we had uh, Bleed Over Me. That's one of my personal favorites. Snake Eyes, Little Misunderstood, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. My Love's Lost. And, I mean, you've accomplished a lot with a ghost train and going from ghost train over to you going solo. And uh, maybe just tell us about the jump of hopping off the ghost train and going solo. Or simply just give us an update. Yeah, let me just let me just kind of tell you what happened real quick, a synopsis. Well, so back in May, you know, we were on the road and 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 you know, we were we were getting beat up on the road really bad. You know, diesel was 6 bucks a gallon. We we're showing up at places and they were, you know, they were they were kind of uh not paying us what we were supposed to get paid and you know, it, it seemed like we, we 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 put ourselves in a real struggle. Well, we came back home at the end of uh May and 
And I got to tell you, it was just really, really trying and stressful. And, and our bass player quit on us. He couldn't do it no more, you know, and, and, and he kind of left us hanging. And I guess what happened was that kind of took the band and put it into the train station for a little bit because we 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 weren't the rest of us did not want to audition another bass player. I'd been through five different, I've been through four different bass players in, in three years and, you know, a few different guitarists, a couple different drummers and, you know, and it just got to be too much. And, and I got a call one day, you know, from a guy that, you know, works for Warner Music. And um, he said to me, um, why don't you go solo? And I said, well, what do you mean? I said, how can I go solo, man? I spent three years building this 308 Ghost Train. He says, man, stop. He said, what are you talking about? He said, "He said you are the 308 Ghost Train. You write the songs. You're the front man. People are focused on you. And I said, well, how am I going to rebrand it? He said, what are you talking about? You got the most famous name in music. Your name's been famous for 100 years in music. All you've got to do is show up and, and give me some damn good songs. And and, and the rest will do, its, do itself. And uh, so... So, you know, I said, okay. And, and then all of a sudden I, I had, I had written a couple, I had written a couple songs had that I was going to do a 308 ghost train and dreams was one of them. I was going to do a rock version of dreams, but then I started writing songs and simple man came and, um, you know, love you more got re-recorded and done in a more adult contemporary style. And then moving on, I wrote, which was fitting because it was about the transition. And then You're My Blues, which is the is the hit single out of the EP, which is coming out on January 20th. And they say that's the one that's going to blow me through the stratosphere. So basically, that's where we've come from. I released Dreams on September 23rd. And um, so far, to great reviews and acclaim. Um, you know, I, I, I've gotten more love from the tastemakers in this world than I ever did with the 308 Ghost Train. Ever. Isn't that something? It is. And it's all because, I believe it's all because of one thing. The bass drum, the kick drums out in the front. Oh, you see my girlfriend walking in the back there. I'm like, oh, hi. Welcome to Mike Wagner's show. Why don't you just come on in and uh, say hello and uh, tell us who you are. <laughs> you, just so. put yourself, you just put yourself in the hot seat. Come talk to people who you are. You got to tell them who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come, on, over come on over. We don't say get off the stage and everything. So. Oh, she doesn't. No, she doesn't have any makeup on. She says she's not coming over. <laughs> oh, oh, that's okay. You can just tell her who you are. Well, tell us who, and everything. Tell yeah. who you are. Hey, everybody. I'm Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Hello. Nice to meet you. Tell us about yourself. I can't hear him, babe. She said, tell us about yourself. Oh, she can't hear you, Mike. I'll have to tell you, she said, tell him about you. She said, you want me to tell him who you are? Yeah, he tell him. Okay, so let me just tell him. Amanda May is the eyes of the 308 Ghost Train. Yes. If it wouldn't have been for Amanda May, the world would have never seen us because she is our director of media operations, our videographer, our photographer. She pretty much is, and the love of my life. You've heard that. That's the story. And and I've told you that story before. A lot of songs are written about Amanda in that 308 Ghost Train uh, catalog, you know, and 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 in the and in the new EP, a few of those songs are for Amanda or about Amanda or have something to do with Amanda, um, you know. And and so she's been probably the greatest inspiration I could ever have asked for in life from somebody that could bring out the artist. I mean, actually, she's made me the artist that I am today, and. I would have never been this artist 20 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, because it never happened until the day I started to meet her and we started to fall in love. And so that's Amanda May. She's pretty much um, my everything. And we continue to partner together. And, 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 and now that I told you that I'm not only am I a music guy now, but now I'm an actor. I've been called by New York and Hollywood to run wow. for roles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've read for several roles in the past couple of weeks, and I'm really excited about it because I think I'm a natural at it. I just <laughs> you, you, know, it, you sound I've, like it. <laughs> well, I've been acting all my life. I, I mean, if I the guy he, I said, hey, this, he said to me, he said, uh, you think you could do it? I said, well, hell, I've been acting like a rock star for the last four years. I've been pulling that mm -hmm. off. He says, you got it. Read for it. You know what I mean? Like. Like, it's just, I guess when you go watch On the Rise, if you watch my TV show On the Rise on YouTube, you can watch a couple, there's three episodes up there. Um, I guess I get a lot of people say to me, wow, man, you, you like, just feel like you're like at home on, 
on TV. And I guess I do. I, I, I like to entertain and I like to I like to talk about stories and I like to I like to emote. I emote while I'm singing and I also emote while I'm, you know, translating or telling stories about the songs because I feel it's important. So I guess that's kind of given me a I don't know. It's given me some kind of a one up in this in this whole Hollywood, New York thing. And I'm so I'm man, I've got like 30 I've got 30 op- opportunities or something out there right now. And I just got my first one. Nice. So my first, I just got my first hire. I'll be doing, playing the role of Jordan Scott. It's a man versus muskets called about the autopilot and the Tesla. It's a mm-hmm. monologue. It's like a 15 minute monologue. It's a play written by uh, Jordan Scott and award winning playwright, Charlie Schulman from NYU. Tisch School. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's got some, it's got some good stuff to it. So, well, I'm looking forward to putting that in the resume uh, also. So that's fun. And uh, the the EP is 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 going to be continued to be released um, on November 25th. You're going to get we're doing something this year uh, that is kind of a throwback to the old days. Oh, we're coming wow. out. We're giving you two singles in every, each time we release, just like they did back in the day, the A side, the B side. I remember those days. I, I bought the 45s and wonder what's on the B side. And there are times the B side does better than the A side. I, I look don't. forward to what's on the B side. The B side's great. I'll keep playing it. The B side sucks. It's like, just play the A side. If you don't like both, right. just give it to somebody else or smash it. So <laughs> Right. So you're getting on November 25th, you're going to get the A side is Simple Man. And the B side is Love You More. Oh, which nice. Is the re, which is the redone version in a easy listening adult contemporary style. Okay. Um, and I've made some minor changes lyrically uh, to that, uh, just a couple uh, to make it more, you know, that in that genre. But um, those are the two songs you're getting on November 25th. And then on January 20th is the big day. That's the day that you're my blues on the A side and moving on is on the B side. And so then that'll cap the first five songs of the album, uh, off. Uh, and we're, we're really, really looking forward to, to what's going to happen. You know, we're excited to see what's going to happen with You're My Blues because the talk is, is that, you know, they're talking song of the year. Oh, talking, nice. Yeah. They're talking, they're talking possible, possible top five, possible number one. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little more, I'm, I'm optimistic, but I'm a little cautious about that because I do realize that in the radio world, it isn't always about the best song. Mm-hmm. It's about, it's about where the money's at at the that week. Yeah, it's about who's buying what, and and a lot of times I don't, you know, I, I hate it. I always have to tell people, but I gotta, I gotta kind of, you know, keep it one hundred. You know, it, 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 the, the the people out there need to not get so. Uh, depressed about, you know, seeing people selling millions of records because they're really not selling millions of records. I want you to know that. Um, you know, if you see a big, big, sometimes maybe Taylor Swift, yeah, but most places when you see it, it, it's the record company investing money into the sales to get it on the charts. And basically they get 70% of that money back. So they're really only making a 30% investment. So, so when you go to iTunes, they're giving iTunes 30% of the album sale every three bucks. You know what I mean? But they're getting seven back. So, and then they're charging the three bucks per album back to the artist as a cost. So then really the artist owes money. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the artist ain't getting three bucks on his deal. He's getting 10 points, which is about 90 cents. So he's actually losing a dollar. He's actually losing 210 on every album sale. So mm-hmm. the only way he can make that back up is to go on some world tour. And that's why they lock them all in because that's the only way that they can get out of the, the hole. It's a, it's a vicious circle. Major labels haven't changed much, man. It's no, a, they haven't. And any thoughts? No. Spot any thought Spotify where they have like you get pay like point zero 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 yeah. one like maybe every hundred two hundred thousand and all that. So it's just yeah. like you know well, you know kind of look again. 
Well, everybody has to understand that uh, Sony and Warner Brothers, I think, own 60 or 80 percent of Spotify. So I I think you need to look into who owns these platforms and wonder why your song's getting a thousand plays, even though you're getting promotion. And somebody else, all of a sudden, you've never heard of is getting millions of plays. Well, you know what, man, that's. A lot of that is rigged. I mean, it just is. It's 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 still payola, okay? Um, the any way you slice it, it's still payola. But what the, what the crime in this is, and and I'm trying to go on a crusade about this down the line is is that in the United States we have a law. It's a statutory rate that's been you know enacted by Congress and put into law that every song that gets played receives ten cents. Okay, mm-hmm. so I'm on a crusade to bring a class action lawsuit against all of them. Because the dirty bastards have ripped us off for long enough. And because they should be paying I, just in the United States, please. I don't care about Germany. I don't care about Japan. I don't care about Thailand or none of those crazy places. I just care about the, the songs that are listened to in the United States. I want my 10 cents for every song that's played because I own the publishing. So I get it all. I want my 10 cents for every. And I had 9 million streams in the United States. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's nine. That's nine hundred thousand dollars. I'd like to have my money. All right. So, so like I think there's a lawsuit in that down the line, a class action lawsuit where I'm going to put out a, like a change.org, like a petition, and see how many people come. I bet you I'm going to get hundreds of thousands of artists to sign on with me. Then I'm going to take it to like Pryor and Cashman or one of the big law firms and say, look, and, and I'm hopefully I'll have the money then, and I'll front it. I'll front it as one of the main claimants. Because I had 50 million streams, man, and date and SoundCloud did not pay me for them. They owe oh, me my gosh. They owe me $170,000. I'm still fighting with them. They, wow. They, yeah, they, it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous with what's happened. So even when you're successful, well, here's the deal. They're over in Belgium or something. That's where their headquarters is. So they know I can't come over there and fight them. I can't go fight them in the world court. I even if I took them to court in the United States, I can't afford that as an independent artist. And 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 it would cost a lot more than one hundred and seventy thousand dollars to even begin any kind of lawsuit like that. So it's uh, it's it, it's they know this. They know this, and so this is why they refused. Ah, we'll just it's just ignore him until we have to not ignore him. Well, they've had several lawsuits in the past few years and have been sued for millions of dollars by bigger artists. So my hope is is that when I come up that I'm able to go back and and you know you know undo the wrong because mm-hmm. not just for me, Mike, <clears throat> you know, for for everybody else out there that should be able to at least eat off of the f- music that they make. I mean, come on. I got it. I was just, I was just uh, saying today, the last 308 Ghost Train release, Paper Ships, back in May 13th. Uh, I just got a check for twelve dollars and eighty eight cents for the rest. really. Oh my gosh, that's like that's like buying like a couple of McDonald's. Um, what was it like? Uh, what was, what was like those number ones or number twos or something? Maybe a few Happy Meals for your kids. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean all those streams, man. I got twelve dollars and eighty eight cents, man. Oh, I mean, man. look, it's it's it, it, it's it's a real game. The money, the money right now is in touring. The money is in. There's the money's in two places. The money's in sync and film. That's where the real money is. Okay, TV, film, commercials. Your song gets in one of those. You're making a great payday. Hmm. Tour only if you're attached to the right agency and only if you're attached to the right tour or other than that it can be a nightmare. Um touring is very you you have to be in the right you have to be in the right company to do that. That's why I'm opting this year to go for listening rooms. I'm going to do a 2023 tour in listening rooms and I'm going to play the stripped down versions of all the new songs and some of the 308 ghost train ballads, put them together in a show and go out there and play to 50, 75 people. It's a lot easier to do. It's a lot easier to get your money. Uh, you know, you, 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 you do it like that and you can make some good money. I mean, you know, at 20 bucks a ticket, man, that's a, yeah, that's pretty. That's a fifteen hundred dollar night. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Listen, I ain't trying. I, I, I'm. I'm not greedy. You know, a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks a night. You know, because you got to remember, I got to drive. I got to travel. Okay, I got to bring my. I got to bring one of my guys with me. You know, we got to stay overnight. You know, we we got to eat. So it it costs money to do that. But I can live in that range. You know what I mean? That's a pretty good job for, based on 
based on what we've accomplished, you know, as far as 20 award nominees. As a matter of fact, it's 22 now. Since 22, you, yes. It's 22, it's 22 with uh, six wins, and um, there's one still out right now. And I'm up for... I'm up for like three or four more this year uh, still. So, you know, with those kind of those kind of numbers, I don't know if I mean, I don't know if you know, but a 25 percent win rate in this business is huge. It's huge. If you win 25 percent of everything that you get nominated for, which that's what we're at right now. That's like a, a, a that's like a calling uh, a light bulb or red a, something goes off in somebody heads head and says yo sign them sign them now you know right but, light bulbs that's right green doors yeah. everything yeah green lights but yeah but but the problem with us is you know age you know um, major labels are only concerned with with uh, very young people TikTokers. And the young people. Matter of fact, they're signing they're signing people off of TikTok now. This is what got to be one of the most ludicrous things I've ever heard. But they, people aren't even that talented. But you know, but here's the deal: people don't know this. It, it's actually a win for the the thing because they're only giving them thirty grand. They're signing them to these contracts. They're giving them thirty grand. That's enough money for you to live for a year. They say while you do your work for us. Okay, so if they throw it up against the wall and it don't stick. It doesn't. But guess what? When that person's got 52 million TikTok views and stuff like that, well, the record company's taking their share back, okay? And 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 the deal they made with them, they're giving them a piece of that, okay, to keep them like keep them happy, keep them floating. Mm-hmm. Uh, but sooner or later, that's all gonna that's all gonna go out the window, and it's like a fad. They're not gonna last. They, they, they can't. Oh. You know, music. The music. The music doesn't have that kind of doesn't have a kind of hold. It's a very what you call like uh, situational or or it's it's kind of like you know it, the it, just, it doesn't have it doesn't have a timeless effect and of course I have to admit one thing I don't I don't remember what I watched on TikTok maybe fifteen minutes ago or even half hour ago or two minutes ago it's like I have no recollection on that Instagram right. same thing Twitter. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's all, it's, it's all instant grat- it's all instant gratification. Um, that's what's going on is instant gratification. So, um, okay, I mean, if you wanna if you wanna jerk your ego off, I guess you know, <laughs> go ahead. I mean, take the money, take your thirty thousand, but I bet you you're probably losing a lot more in mm-hmm. the end. And you know what? Some people don't care because it's their fifteen minutes. Well, this is the new fifteen minutes. TikTok is the new fifteen minutes. The new fifteen minutes is thirty seconds, sixty mm-hmm. seconds. Right. 60 seconds is your new 15 minutes of fame. Mm-hmm. So, and, so and they've it, even cut that down. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of it, too, as well, too. And here's a suggestion for you. It's like the next time we put out, we'll talk about the issues that we covered. How's that? <laughs> I yeah. think we got some good ideas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. I mean, so this whole this whole journey has been um, magical. I mean, yeah, I, I was talking. My mother called me today, and she's, you know, she, she's got problems with my, uh, my the other – people like your grandchildren and said this one's got this thing this one's got that thing and i'm sitting there and i'm just sitting there and she says oh but you don't have any problems anymore and i said no i said because i do have problems but what i'm doing on the other end is so positive it overshadows anything that's negative like like anything that's that's even happening to me that's that's kind of not you know good or whatever but the things that are happening to me are so good that my universe is balanced. So mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm balanced, you know? So, I mean, that's what I wish for everyone that could find that center, you know, and, and just, you know, and just be happy in the moment. It's the first time in my life, Mike, I can actually say I'm happy on my personal and professional front at the same time. Mm. Um, and, and that's a long time, you know, it took me a long time. I'm, I'm like a 30 year overnight success. You know, I mean, I I've been through the trenches and back to hell and back and you know raised from the fires of hell and the whole nine yards and I I think there's something to be said about just hanging in there and doing what you love to do sooner or later people recognize that it's who you are not what you do mm-hmm. and that's very important as well too and a bit more about uh, moving on and what else is what else is uh, Anthony moving on? We'll find out just one minute. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the MikeWidenerShow.com. It's 
powered by SoundWeb Studios. Visit online at SoundWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. SoundWeb Studios is the answer. SoundWeb Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SoundWebStudios.com. Mention to Mike Widener, she'll get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout-out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, International War Ring author Mia molson If you love fast-paced mysteries, you love Missing by Mia molson available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has got great reviews. And Eve 11 enjoys by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forbes Riley, and Mills. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, over 40 podcast platforms here in the heart of the countries, including Facebook, Spotify, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Anchor FM, iTunes, and more. Take us with you on the mic on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Check out the Mike Wagner Show at HamiltonRadio.net every Thursday night, 9 p.m., 8 p.m. Central. Also, check our merchandise at themikewagnershow.com. T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, and more, as well as hoodies. Amazon.com. Check out the Mike Wagner Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com. So that's me and Boston Zia for great books like Missing, Once and Wrinkles, also cool merchandise and more. Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia. Check out the Mike Widener Show at the Mike Widener Show.com and support on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the Mike Widener Show.com. We're here with a terrific singer, songwriter from Florida, founder of Three Egg, Three Way Ghost Train, and he's taking a rest on the Mike Widener Show. Anthony Caruso, it's always great to have him on and always great to chat to and everything else. And uh, maybe a bit about dreams. Tell us more about that. And you also got Nebraska as well, too. And um, Nobody Can Hurt Me as well and some other ones. Yeah, um, and and that that album is is always evolving. Um, the song Nebraska hasn't been recorded yet, but you know Amanda's from Nebraska, so I felt like I needed to write one about Nebraska. And and nobody can hurt you is a song that uh, my buddy Johnny Zitch wrote, and I went and took and rewrote the lyrics to it, and um, and it's kind of like a club dance tune. Now that one's recorded. So that's coming. And then Dark Days, uh, a young lady named Eri, Eri Christie, uh, who you can find on Facebook, E-R-I Christie. Um, she wrote a song called Dark Days. And I I never listen to music on Facebook ever when I was scrolling. I never do because I don't want to be unduly influenced. Something told me to push the button. And of course I did. The wind blows where it pleases, brother. Mm -hmm. And when I pushed it, I heard something in that song. And I said, oh, yeah. I said, oh, I need to do that. So come to find out, she lived in Alabama, but her parents lived in Sarasota, Florida, right down the street. And um, we were, (laughs) she was coming home that next week. I said, well, let's meet at the Dunkin' Donuts or the, what was it, the IHOP Perkins? The Perkins restaurant. And we had some coffee and she came in and me and her and Amanda sat down and I told her how it like moved me. And I said, I want to cut it for the 308 ghost train. And she said, sure. Well, then all the stuff happens with the 308 ghost train. And she writes me, she says, Anthony, uh, are you still going to be doing dark days? And I said, well, absolutely. I said, I'm just going to be doing it now as a solo artist. So that's being recorded next. Uh, the next two songs are I'm, I'm redoing. I'll never get I'm never getting over you, which is okay. the 308 Ghost Train song from um, I believe the Something's Going On album uh, EP. And, and I, there was just something about that song. You know, they never let us play the ballads when we were live when we were out in the because no, they want the energy music and people were coming to me and saying, "Yo, man, we want to hear those songs." Like people want to hear those songs. And I'm like. I, Okay, so that's why I decided to incorporate those ballads into the Caruso project. But I have to redo them because they all need to be in the same vein. So they all need to have that adult contemporary. So I'm working with a couple different producers, Johnny Zitch and Uri Schlesinger. And, and you know, those guys are, you know, they're, they're taking songs and they're, they're, they're putting tracks to them and then giving them to me. And then I'm bringing in Angel, you know, Angel Soto from the 308 Ghost Train to put down the – the leads and you know and then I'm I'm adding the different you know textures and and vocals of course and backgrounds and and, and we're coming up with a whole new sound. Nice. It's it's a new sound, you know, Dreams is a 
Dreams is a really magical song. You know, I, you know the story, Mike. I write a lot of songs in my dreams. And, and now I've learned how to tap into my alpha space while I'm, you know, consciously awake. Like I could be driving down the interstate and like I'm watching where I'm going. All of a sudden my mind goes into this like alpha place space or whatever. And I'll start melodies will start running around in my head. And that's how I wrote Little Miss Misunderstood. It's how I wrote Dreams. It's how I wrote a lot of those, a lot of the newer stuff, um, you know, uh, that's been coming out. So now I've tapped into this power of, of the alpha space. So not only do I hear stuff in my, in my sleep, but I also hear it when I'm awake. It'll just come to me. So, you know, Dreams is a magical song that I wanted to tell a story about the accumulation of the last, you know, several years, you know. In 2015, I died on the table having heart surgery, and they brought me back to life. And, of course, that's the beginning of the 308 Ghost Train when a year later I, I was contemplating, you know, life and death because I couldn't get out of my own head. And I looked up at this tree I meditate on. I was thinking about just ending it and saying it ain't worth it. So, I, But I went home that night and went to sleep, and I woke up and wrote a song called Warn. At 5.30 in the morning, a song Warn came into my head. I jumped out of bed. I went into my little corner. And in 15 minutes, I had written the whole song. And that was the first song I'd ever written for the 308 Ghost Train. 25 or six songs later, I ain't looked back. Yep. That is amazing. Wow. Look at the journey you've been on, you know, because of 308 and um, 256. I'm about to remember these numbers next time I have you on. It's so that's it's crazy, man. It's it, craziness, man. It's just it's just craziness. It just goes to show all of us have all of us have are interweaved and we all have a part of each other's journey when we come together. Like I'm a part of your journey by being on your show. You're part of my journey by interviewing me. We're, we're all intertwined and, and all of us get to, and all of us get to be a part of the history of each other's legacy. So it's someday if, if I was to, somebody was to say, Hey man, that's an amazing dude, man. We need to do a story on that. Well, everybody along the way is a part of how that story became to the point where it got noticed by someone who said, Oh man, we need to tell this story. So, and the same thing with you, the same thing, anybody, we need to tell that story. Well, you know, uh, you know, it's just amazing, man, how we're all like intertwined into it. It's, uh, it's all energy, Mike. It's all it, the universe is energy. It's all energy. God is energy. It's all energy, man. It's and it's all good energy. And the good goes one way, and the bad goes another. You know, and the and and, and the and the neutral just goes, you know, kind of there. So. It, it, it's just there, the neutral zone, pretty much. Uh, what, what, what was it like, no man's land or something like yeah, that? Yeah, there's I a was, no man's land. There. Sometimes you got to step in there and take a break. Sometimes you get step because that's where that's like the eye of the storm. That's where the that's where the center is. And sometimes when you step in the center, everything's calm and everything is like. But, but on the each side of it, man, there's nothing but chaos and and fight and and push and pull and and drag and, and you know you you name it. But when you stay in the center, sometimes you you can avoid a lot of that, and your journey gets easier to move forward a little bit. So sometimes you got to get in the center. You know, when you get to a certain point and, and don't fight it so much. And that's where I think I am right now because everything's like really, really kind of happening for me. I, I, I'm i just, you know, I'm just kind of now I'm just kind of like showing up and doing what I'm supposed to do. And I'm I'm helping God to help me. You know? mm -hmm. and, and certainly amazing as well, too. You're doing a great job of it. It's always great to have you on. Once again, where can we find your uh, latest and all your works at? Well, you can find me on Spotify under Caruso. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, you name it, uh, uh, TikTok under Caruso the Artist. That's the moniker. I took that so I could differentiate myself from anyone else that calls himself Caruso, which, believe it or not, there are a lot. Oh, yeah. Right. Just just like but that you, Island Rescue, whatever it is, or yeah, like Robinson so just, Crusoe. Yes. Yeah. You just you just put Caruso, the artist, in it, and I come up Spotify and everything else. And I'm in iTunes. I'm everywhere you can find music. I'm on every platform. Of course, I'm distributed by Warner Music Group. So I'm in everything that they, that's available. And uh, yeah, I'm really I want to want to thank uh, I want to thank Warner Music Group for distributing me because uh, it's a wonderful thing to have the arm of a major label with you um you know but you know at the same time you're kind of partnering with them and 
I, I own all my publishing, you know, and I, I, I own, I own my part of it. So it's like resting dove records, which we own resting dove records and then slash WMG. But what it does is it gives me the opportunity to use the Warner music group logos to come out in front and have it on my signs and banners. And, you know, Warner music group, RDR Warner music group presents, you know, everything I do, I'm able to, I'm able to use the long arm of Warner Music Group. And I hope to partner a little bit further with them down the line. But of course, I've got some things to prove. Um, mm-hmm. even I, even I still have to prove some things. And, um, and so, uh, let's see what happens in the future. And I thank you so much for having me on. And, and speaking of the future, by the way, what's next in 2023 for you? Well, I'm going to be, uh, I'm hope, I, well, I don't know. I, it, only if Amanda May lets me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Amanda, I, I, get over I, here. Tell yeah, me what to do. I, only, if I, only if Amanda May lets me, but I might be going on a listening room tour, and I believe there's 250 of them. Wow! Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot, Mike. I couldn't believe uh, Angie's putting that put that list together for me. She's got me out there, so uh, it's going to start in the south, in the south, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, uh, Florida, uh, Alabama, and Tennessee. Wow, and that's that's the that's the that's the and where you hope I I hope she said I I hope (laughs) (laughs) yeah um I'm I got to tell you something Mike I I went on the road and 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 Amanda couldn't go with me and I got to tell you I I don't know I I I was kind of felt lost I don't know I I felt kind of lost the the whole time and it was it was kind of stressful so. You know, I, I I don't know. It's it's not. A, it's just. It's a thing, man. It's it's about it's about wanting to be in your in your zone. You know, in your comfort zone. You're safe. I want to get out there and play for people, but you know, we'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. And we certainly will too. We're with uh, Anthony Caruso, firmly a through eight ghost train, going solo to Mike Wagner's show, and um, and of course, a very big thank you for your time as always, and uh, looking forward to having you on soon once again. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or check you guys out? No, you can you can find me on Spotify and iTunes. That's that's the two b- best places. iTunes, if you can, because they they pay the best. iTunes actually pays the best. So go to iTunes. Go to Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. Put in Caruso the artist. Follow me. See where you know. Let's get on this. Get on the journey with me together, and let's see where we can take this. We certainly would do so. Once again, Anthony, a very big thank you for your time. You're always amazing and looking forward to it soon. Just keep us up to date, keep in touch, and definitely have a white love you back. We wish you all best, and yes, a great future ahead as well. Thank you, Mike, and have a great holiday. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show. Brought to you by international award-winning author Mia Mosenzia of Missing and powered by Sonic Web Studios. Be sure to join us again on over 40 podcast platforms and, of course, on the MikeWagnerShow.com, HamiltonRadio.net, and Diamonds FM. Don't forget to support our program with a generous donation at the MikeWagnerShow.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs>